In an unusual development, a rare snowfall has covered the sacred city of Mecca, attracting the attention of hundreds of thousands of religious pilgrims. This unprecedented phenomenon has sparked discussions and explanations among various religious communities, especially those who consider snow a symbol of sacred significance. In this video, we will explore multifaceted reactions to the snowfall in Mecca, delving into the religious perspectives of both Christianity and Islam. We will discuss the connection between snow and forgiveness, warnings about false gods and the end times, and finally, provide guidance on how individuals can prepare for the return of Christ. The Symbolic Significance of Snow in Christianity Snow has long held symbolic significance in religious contexts, including Christianity. The Bible associates snow with purity and the forgiveness of sins. In the book of Isaiah, it is written, Come now, let us settle the matter. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Isaiah 1.18 this biblical verse conveys the transformative power of God's forgiveness, comparing the crimson stain of sin to the pure white of snow. God's boundless love extends not only to individuals, but also to people from all walks of life. The rare snowfall in Mecca could be interpreted as a sign of God expressing his love for humanity. It may signify that people need to abandon their old selves, renounce sins, and return to the love of God, where all mistakes are forgiven. With the spiritual significance of snow in Christianity, some individuals see the rare snowfall in Mecca as a message from God. They view it as a sign of God's forgiveness or a call to repentance. Similar to how snow can cleanse and purify the earth, these individuals believe that God is extending his mercy and providing a spiritual reflection opportunity for pilgrims and visitors in Mecca. Islamic Perspective on Snowfall In Islamic tradition, snow does not hold as explicit symbolic significance as it does in Christianity. However, the snowfall in Mecca has undoubtedly captured the attention of the global Muslim community. For many Muslims, this event serves as a reminder of the vast and unpredictable nature of God's creation evoking awe and reverence. Recently, a video has circulated speculating about the contents of the Kaaba in Mecca, the holiest site in Islam. The video suggests that Allah is imprisoned within the black stone and accuses the Prophet Muhammad of being a false prophet mentioned in the Book of Revelation. It warns Christians against worshipping in places where they are not allowed to freely practice their faith. The reactions of Muslims to controversial claims about the Kaaba may vary depending on factors such as religious knowledge, sensitivity, and commitment to their faith. However, it is essential to note that the majority of Muslims consider the Kaaba the holiest site in Islam and highly respect this building. Muslims with clear understanding and agreement about the Kaaba see it as God's house, a place of worship and devotion where believers turn to pray to Allah. Statements suggesting that God is confined within the black stone or casting doubt on the prophethood of Muhammad go against the core beliefs of Islam and are often considered baseless and offensive. Faced with such claims, the general Muslim reaction is to reject these ideas as errors and contrary to their faith. They may express indignation, reaffirm their commitment to faith in God and Muhammad as a prophet, while emphasizing the importance of respecting holy places and the beliefs of other religions. Some Muslims may also seek to provide accurate information and clarify Islamic teachings related to the Kaaba and the unity of God. It is crucial to recognize that individuals may have different reactions based on their beliefs and sensitivities. Nevertheless, overall, Muslims tend to strongly defend the teachings and sanctity of the Kaaba representing a profound spiritual and sacred symbol for them. False prophets and warnings of Jesus. Throughout history, Jesus warned his disciples about the dangers of false prophets and deceptive practices associated with them. False prophets are entities or individuals who claim to represent God but have hidden agendas of their own. In the book of Revelation, Jesus prophesied the rise of a great city that would attract nations to worship a false god. Additionally, the book describes a prostitute symbolizing false worship of God. These warnings serve as reminders to believers to recognize genuine teachings and stay steadfast in their faith. 
The Antichrist and Signs of the End Times, the Antichrist representing the embodiment of sin, will have forerunners paving the way for his appearance, similar to prophets and ancestors who foretold the coming of Jesus Christ. The term Antichrist is used to denote anything against Christ. Therefore, all forms of wrongdoing, false doctrines and errors can be defined as the Antichrist. The events preceding the Antichrist are not new phenomena and have been present throughout the history of the Church. Various forms of the Antichrist can be found in the Church's history, often referred to simply as Antichrists. These leaders, movements and demonic ideologies serve the agenda of the Antichrist and Satan by normalizing and enticing sin, leading souls away from God, and creating a culture of evil ripe for the appearance of the Antichrist. The Antichrist and signs of the end times are topics that concern and contemplate followers of the Christian faith. While there may be different explanations, many believers view the rise of false gods moral decay, and global chaos as signs indicating the world is approaching the culmination of human history. The rare snowfall in Mecca has further stimulated discussions on the importance of such events. Preparing for the return of Jesus Christ, the Bible indicates that the return of Jesus is imminent and believers should eagerly anticipate it. Romans 8 19, 25 1 Corinthians 1 7, Philippians 3 20, Jude 21. James encourages believers to be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. James 5 8. Revelation 1 3 and 22 10 also state that the time is near. Jesus taught his disciples to be vigilant about his return. You also must be ready because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Luca 12.40 The rarest snowfall in Mecca undoubtedly has stirred reflection and deep discussions within the religious community. Whether seen as a sacred message or a natural event, it has prompted individuals to contemplate their faith, warnings against false gods, and signs of the end times. Ultimately, the reactions to these events will encourage believers to strengthen their relationship with God, gain a deeper understanding of the scriptures, and embody teachings of love and forgiveness. As the world continues to evolve, individuals are compelled to remain steadfast in their faith and seek spiritual guidance to navigate the complexities of the modern era. Due to the spiritual significance associated with the end times, believers are encouraged to draw closer to God and prepare for the return of Christ. This preparation includes fervent prayer, diligent study of the Bible, living a righteous life, maintaining unwavering focus on God, practicing love and forgiveness towards others. By adhering to these principles, individuals can ensure spiritual fortification and readiness for the ultimate promises of God. May God strengthen our faith, renew our commitment to Christ, and spread His love and truth, regardless of the changes occurring in the world. May our spirituality be awakened so that we become worthy children of God. May everyone repent for their mistakes, correct themselves to become like children of God. Let us abandon bad habits and wholeheartedly accept Jesus as Lord and Savior, so that we can be ready for the great return of God.